Welcome back out, Bokeem Resorts family. Still out here in the great state of Louisiana for our second vertical door installation of 2024. Yesterday was an Arctic White Corvette C8 up in uh, Baton Rouge. Now we're down in La Place. So just taking our fenders off, it's one of the first things I do on the installations. Uh, Corvette C8 fenders are pretty easy to take off when you've done it 300 times like myself. <laughs> First time it is daunting, but they do just snap on and snap off. The Corvette C8 is mainly composed, the body anyway, is mainly composed of a fiberglass composite. So it literally just snaps in and out of place. Now, of course, there's still just over a dozen bolts one has to take out in order for everything to come off appropriately. There we go. That one was on there real tight. Beautiful. So now that we have our fenders off, everything is really exposed. So this here is your uh, radio antenna for your Corvette C8. I believe it's the OnStar on this side. I might have it mixed up. It might be radio on this side, OnStar on that side, but um, What's funny is when you scan the QR code on this part, it does not bring up anything that looks like this. <laughs> but it does bring up a, a, an antenna, um, so that's the only reason I know that that is the antenna. But again, car battery, strut towers, I highly, I highly recommend, excuse me, getting these covered. Um, just because as you're washing the car and your soaps and suds get in there, you know, soap isn't harmful on a car for a few minutes as you're washing it, but when it just sits there, and sits on metal, it can start to corrode it, the chemicals that are in soap. But yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. We're gonna get, obviously, I've already gotten in, into this one. Um, so we're about 15 minutes in. It doesn't take me very long at all to take off fenders, but again, this is the 294th Corvette C8 I've worked on, taking the fenders off, so times two. What's that? Yeah, pretty close to 600 Corvette C8 fenders taken on and off cars. And that's not even counting service calls, working on other people's um, mistakes, well, I don't want to say, working on other people's cars and shops and things like that that have called me in for help, because um, we do, that is a growing part of the business, working on cars that other people worked on and mistakes happened or things happened, uh, and then I come out to kind of correct it. So that is a growing part of the business. In case you're, in case you're wondering about that, um, you have to call our office to schedule for service hours and all that. All right, y'all, back to it. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you out there. God bless. Uh, next stop is going to be the Houston, Texas area for the next Corvette C8. Um, so we are on it. Thank you very much.